For this video, I will show you how you can ask the user for some words and then have the program translate them into another language. You can see that we've already added a couple of extensions, the text-to-speech and the translate extensions. Under events, take the when the green flag is clicked block and place it on the scripts area. We will now declare and name some variables. So under variables, select make a variable and call it text. Then click on OK. You can see that on the stage the variable text is displayed. I'm going to uncheck that in the variables area so that it doesn't appear on the stage. I'm then going to set my variable. So take the set block and place it beneath the green flag clicked block. In the pull down menu select text and we're going to set that variable equal to the text that we would like to appear initially at the beginning. I'm going to type in hello and welcome. I'm then going to declare another variable and this will hold the question that I will ask the user. I will say what would you like to translate? Enter it below and press enter. So I'm going to make a new variable and I'm going to call it question then click on OK. Again, uncheck the variable. Take the set block and place it beneath the previous set block. In the pull down menu, select question and then type in the following. What would you like to translate? Enter it below and press enter. We will now have the cat say and speak these words. Under looks, select the say block, which will display a speech bubble. In that speech bubble, click on variables, we are going to display the first text, hello and welcome. Under text to speech, select the speech or the speak block rather and place it beneath the say block. We're going to use the text variable, so it will say hello and welcome in the speech bubble, and you will also hear it. We will do the same for question. Under looks, select the say block. Under variables, select the question variable. Again, text to speech, take the speak block. Under variables, place the question grab the question block and place it inside of the speak block. Now we will give the information to the user to say enter the phrase and then they will press enter. To do this we need to go under sensing and take the ask block. We need the ask block as well as the answer block just beneath the ask block. Place the answer block over to the right. We will need it in a second. Instead of what's your name, you can say enter phrase to translate. Because we already gave the user the instructions, we won't actually have it say that. Um, they won't hear it, but they will be able to see it. We need to make another variable now, and this will hold whatever the user types in to translate. So make a variable. I'm going to call it phrase. You might call it phrase to translate, but that just requires more typing and a longer variable name. So I've called mine phrase. Click on OK. Again, uncheck the variable. Take the set block and pay, place it beneath the ask block. In the pull down menu, select phrase. Now you will remember that we moved that answer block from sensing over to the right here. You can place that into the set block for phrase. So whatever the user types in, it will be stored in the variable called phrase. Normally we put all of our set blocks at the top. It's just good programming practice to initialize or give our variables an initial value. I'm going to put the set phrase block down here because we have to wait until we get that user or that information from the user. I'm going to change the language to French. And actually we can do that at the top as well. We want to start with English, so I'm going to, to switch my language to English at the very top or just beneath your variables. Right before I have the 
the cat translated, I'm going to set the language to French as I've done here. I'm going to take the say block under looks and I'm going to go to translate and take the translate block. I'm going to place it inside the say block. Under variables, take your phrase block and put it where it says hello. So it'll translate that phrase to, I'm going to change it to French. The reason I had to use the set language to French above is so that when it speaks French, it sounds like a French accent rather than an English accent. Finally, I will take the speak block under text to speech, place it beneath the say block, and I'm going to use that same block that we placed inside the say block above. So you can just right click and duplicate. And put it in. Hello and welcome. What would you like to translate? Enter it below and press enter. You can see it started the program. I'm just going to click the green flag to play that again. Hello and welcome. What would you like to translate? Enter it below and press enter. So you can see there's a spot for you to enter that information in. I'm going to type in hello and then I will press enter or click on the blue flag or the blue check mark rather. Bonjour. We have our uh, program ready. If you want to change the sound of the voice, you can go to text to speech and take the set voice block to and place it at the top of your program. And you have a number of different um, options to choose from. I'm going to select giant right now and try that program again. Hello and welcome. What would you like to translate? Enter it below and press enter. If you want to change your sprite, you can click on Choose a Sprite on the bottom right. I'm going to check on, click on the bear. Now you might think you've lost your code, but you can actually click back on the cat, click on the top of your code, and drag it over to the bear and let it go. Just check to make sure that the code is inside of the bear, and then we can click back on the cat and delete the cat. Now, when you go to play the program, with a giant, it sounds a little bit more like a bear.